The term radiation frightens people even more than chemical. But as with chemicals, some type of radiation can be dangerous and some not. Radiation can be defined as energy emitted in the form of waves or high-speed particles. Neutrons, tiny particles emitted from a nuclear reaction, can be very harmful, while radio waves are harmless. Unless, of course, you're listening to someone spewing nonsense about radiation or chemicals on the radio. Tritium is an isotope of hydrogen, meaning that it has the same number of protons in its nucleus as hydrogen, but differs in the number of neutrons in the nucleus having two instead of none. That does not affect its chemical behavior, but it does make tritium radioactive, meaning that it is capable of emitting energy. In this case, that energy is in the form of electrons, commonly referred to as beta radiation. When an atom of tritium gives off an electron, it transforms into an atom of helium. That is an ongoing process, with half of a sample of tritium being transformed into helium every 12 years. For example, a half-life of 12 years means that after 24 years, only one quarter of the sample will remain. The reason for this discussion of tritium is due to the controversy arising from the planned release of water that has been stored in tanks near the Fukushima reactor that was severely damaged by an earthquake in 2011. All nuclear reactors are based on the same principle. A nuclear reaction, typically the fission or breaking apart of the nuclei of uranium-235, generates heat that is then used to turn water into steam, and then that steam turns a turbine to produce electricity. The water that circulates through the reactor contains lithium hydroxide to control pH and reduce corrosion, while also serving as coolant and absorbs neutrons produced during the nuclear reaction. This prevents a runaway reaction and explosion. When an atom of lithium absorbs a neutron, it breaks down into atoms of helium and tritium. Two tritium atoms then combine to form tritium gas that can react with oxygen to form water in which one or both of the atoms linked to oxygen are tritium instead of hydrogen. The accident caused release of radioactive cooling water from the reactor and the seawater that was and is still being used to cool the damaged reactor to prevent meltdown also became radioactive. All the water, at least as much as possible, was collected and is being stored in some 1,000 giant tanks after being subjected to a special filtering process that removes radioactive substances other than tritiated water, which is very difficult to remove. These tanks are becoming full and there's risk of some accident causing release of the huge amount of the stored water that still contains tritium. That is why Japan made the decision to release the water bit by bit into the ocean, a decision that was widely approved by experts who have determined that the impact of the amount of tritium in the discharged water on people and the environment is negligible. I trust the experts. I hope they're right. And that for today is our Kappa Joe.